what if I told you the way that you're going to use software is going to be completely different in the next three to six months? Well, it's no longer science fiction. It's actually very much a reality. And what's happening in the world of AI and software is the ability to connect the tools together and never have to step foot in your software to use it. With the introduction of MCPs, Model Context Protocols, just a fancy way to say an integration, you can now use your AI interfaces like ChatGPT and or Claude to manipulate and create and edit and read the information that's in your software super easily without ever having to go into that software. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what this means, how you can set them up, and ultimately how you're now gonna be a superhuman with superpowers using software just by staying inside of your AI interface. Let's dive right on in. So I'm gonna be using Notion as the software that I'm gonna to connect to Claude, which is the AI that I've been using and really love with MCP to basically do a few things. One, I'm gonna ask the AI for help in trying to create a structure for me that's gonna be very helpful for my business operations. I'm gonna have it automatically create that structure for me in Notion without me ever doing anything. And then I'm gonna have it add records and update the records and even pull them out for me, all with staying inside of Claude and using Notion basically as my backend. And if I wanna go inside of it, I can see everything that's happening. So let's dive right on into this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ask Claude for help, basically helping me come up with the structure for my uh, business operations. So let's just talk to Claude. I have a tool called uh, Whisperflow, which is also kind of nerdy, but let's just use it. Hey, Claude, can you help me come up with a business operations system inside of Notion with me? Ultimately, I want to manage my contacts, companies, deals, notes, and appointments all inside of Notion. And I'd really like your help coming up with the structure of how to set this up. I'd like to have all of the objects created for me with uh, the properties that you think are going to be best. And please make sure that the, uh, the connections are two-way so that I can reference each object within itself. So now Claude's going to go ahead and think of this system and set up. And you'll see it's already going inside of my notion with business operations here and it can register that it sees the page. And so now it's going to go ahead and create that company's database for us. You'll see it uh, working here. Um, I'll show you in just a second what that will look like. Then we have it go create the contacts database in Notion shortly after there. You can see how fast this is as well. And we can watch it work and watch it think, which is very powerful. Now it's going to create the deals database, it's going ahead and doing that. I don't know what the properties are yet. I could have asked it, hey, let's workshop the properties first before you go and create anything. Um, this is ultimately the power of AI is you can use it as your best assistant. Now it's creating the notes database for us. And it's creating the appointments database as well. It's just amazing that it can do all of this for us without ever doing any of it ourselves. So once this is done, I'm going to jump into Notion and see what that looks like. So let's actually just jump into Notion now. All right. So now inside of our Notion, we see each of those databases automatically created for us without us ever doing anything. So if we click into the company's database, we can see that it's created the property's company name, address, annual revenue, size, create date, et cetera, et cetera, automatically. Then we can go into the contacts and it can see the reference company here for us as well. The department, email, first name, job title. It created this for us without ever us having to do anything. And then we can continue to jump in and out of the other ones. So we have deals. And the cool part about Notion in this case is we can also do different views. So there's table views, there's board views, um, and all of this, you can now organize and manipulate yourself. And again, I think we're getting back to the future of AI and software, which is it can do it all for you. So, um, there we have it. It's created all of these objects. Now let's go inside of Claude and have it research me and automatically create me a company, a couple notes, and perhaps a deal and appointment as well. 
So let's jump back into Claude and do that. All right, now let's have it research me. Claude, do a bunch of research on Gregory Corellitz and everything that you know about him. Get me his work professional background, as well as a little bit of information about him himself personally. So this is amazing because now Claude can go and do research on the web for me and basically crawl and gather a bunch of information on me. And if it's your business, you can go research your prospects or go research companies in your target areas or um, basically anything that this is the power of AI and having it work with you. So it can see that it's finding where I went to college, my interests and hobbies, uh, a company that I created back when I was in college, believe it or not. And now it's spitting out everything here. So it sees that I was uh, the director of technology partnerships at HubSpot. It can see my career progression of uh, my journey, my education, things that I've created in my entrepreneurial experience, current roles, business expertise. Um, it has me in uh, Cambridge et cetera, et cetera. So now let's go ahead and have it create me as a contact in our notion. So go ahead and create Greg as a contact in notion and add these details to his record. So we'll see it now go work inside of our notion database and create me as a contact. Um, so we can see it's actually smarter than that. It's saying, oh, I need to create HubSpot as a company first and then add Greg as a contact there. So uh, it's searching for the right database. It's adding HubSpot as a company, although I'm no longer there. Uh, thank you, Claude, for um, you know, finding that. And then it is adding me into the contact database and linking those together as well as adding all of the research that it just did. If this doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Ultimately, now you can engage and research and add things to your software without ever literally lifting a finger. The world is about to get crazy. So it says it's added me with all of the professional backgrounds and then it's adding content as a note on this page as well. I'm curious if it's going to add it as a note on my contact record itself or add it as a note in the notes and reference Greg uh, as a contact. So let's see. Once this is done, we will pop back into Notion and see exactly what's happened. So there we have it. I have now been created in the contacts database and you can see all the information about me. We can see it even found my LinkedIn. It has referenced HubSpot as the company, and it's pulled in a bunch of information about that. And we can see that all of it is linked together automatically. And there's the note about me with my professional and personal backgrounds automatically created for me, period. This is absolutely bonkers. Um, and so now you can see the connection of AI and software together where you never need to go into the software anymore and you can do a bunch of that information inside of the AI itself. So I'm just gonna have it do a couple more things automatically for us. I won't show you this, but you can basically go into Claude and I'm gonna have it auto-create a bunch of contacts, companies and deals. And then we're gonna see just how powerful it is in pulling information out that allows us to even process and reason with the data that is now stored inside of our notion. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to show you how we can uh, speak with AI and pull valuable information out of notion without ever going into it. Okay. So now that we have the data inside of our CRM and we've added a bunch of deals, I'd like to see how good Claude can be at pulling that information, analyzing it for us and giving us visual representations of the health of our business. So let me ask it to do that. Okay, Claude, I'd like for you to go into the business operations page inside of my Notion and find all of the deals in the deals database. I'd like you to analyze them by the expected close dates, the probability of closing, and the amount in those potential deals. And give me some visual representations inside of you, Claude, on the health of my business. So 
So while this goes, we're going to see Claude go into the business operations page, go into the deals database. It's going to query all of those deals with the close dates, probability of closing, and the amounts. And now it's giving us a breakdown on the health of our business. So we can see that there's 14 active deals for $1.6 million. Two have won, one has lost. There's 11 active in the pipeline. And so now it's basically giving us the analysis on exactly what has been happening in the company. Obviously, all this is dummy data, but it is spot on. So it's pulled all this data for us after adding it for us and then giving us the breakdown of our business. Uh, and it looks like it's also creating visual representations for us now as well. Things like stage distribution, which uh, look to be actually pretty valuable. So welcome to the whole new world of software. I hope this was a good introduction for you on how you can use the MCP integrations with your AI interfaces to connect your software tools with AI and just talk to it. This is going to change the way we all do work. It's going to make us exponentially faster, exponentially more productive, and allow us to not have to learn new interfaces or softwares with every single update or every single new tool that we just add to our stack. Instead, you'll just be able to go talk to your AI and have it do all the work with you. So let's buckle up. Welcome to the wave. And uh, let me know what questions and comments you have in the comment section. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. And also share with me your thoughts. I'm curious how you plan to use this and what tools you're using today. Thanks and see you on the next one. Bye.